perfect getaway, and the DVD made a perfect getaway into the mailbox when I dropped it off earlier. Two newlyweds, Cliff and Sydney, are vacationing, taking their honeymoon in Hawaii. On Hawaii, whatever. Perhaps partially because Cliff outright states at one point early in the movie that nothing bad ever happens on Hawaii. Guess he hasn't watched any Lost. Anyway, there they meet two other couples and find out that just before they made it to the particular island they're on, someone was killed on an island, a single island away, and the police believe that they may have hopped islands and may now be on the same island as them. And basically for the entire movie, they and the audience are trying to figure out exactly who the killers are. All we know is that they were apparently a couple, you know, a man and a woman, and that's it. There's really no reason to beat around the bush with this one. This is a twist movie. The entire thing is building up to the reveal, and in some ways it is like recent twist movies. It really desperately wants to convince you that what is going to be the twist isn't going to be the twist, and there are some situations where if you rewatch the movie it does kind of seem a little strange. It's not the worst of these cases though. It kind of stands or falls on whether or not you like the twist also. But the twist is not that bad and this is one of the better of the twists. Perhaps I should get some of the negative out of the way. At the reveal, several things happen. The movie suddenly gets really stylized, which it hasn't been at all up to that point. Arguably a little much so. Things change majorly. That, I would definitely say, is a bit much, and for some reason it tries to outdo NCIS as far as how many flashbacks and, you know, reveals of what has happened earlier. I mean, have you seen that episode where, you know, we find out if it was Tony or not, who, you know, killed those women, sank teeth into them. That amount of flashbacks. The dialogue is okay, but there is arguably a little much slang and social. Like, I know why they did it, and once you've watched the entire thing, you'll probably know too, if you choose to watch it, but I still think it was a little much. The comic relief. Some are gonna like it, I personally didn't. I think the amount of quirk is appropriate. I mean, it didn't keep me from liking the characters. And it didn't... didn't make them unrealistic overall, I would say. They're just kind of a little off, but, you know, if you had friends like them, you might still like to hang around with them every so often, you know? The... There are times where the comic relief is just really obvious, like you could see the punchline coming a mile away. That might just about be it for the negative. 
this is one of the better of the more recent twist movies. The twist does, to an extent, come out of the blue, and they do use what some will call cheap tricks to keep us guessing the wrong thing. But it does more or less hold up. It's somewhat set up. I know that kind of contradicts the out of the blue. I was pretty surprised. Let's go with that. And when I think more about it, I do realize, oh, they dropped a lot of hints. You know, you can rewatch it, and it isn't like it came completely out of nowhere. It's essentially a psychological thriller mystery kind of thing. I suppose it only really gets to be a psychological thriller at the end, but it's a mystery thriller. And it's credible. It's very realistic. I don't think there's really much of anything that happens that isn't within the bounds of a mystery thriller kind of thing. There's nothing supernatural, and it just... It's almost like... Not sure what I could really compare it to, but... When something happens, you know, it, it doesn't defy the laws of physics, for example. What happens pretty much holds up, you know, it's realistic. There's also very, very little CGI. And everything you see in this has an effect, you know, there's nothing that's just for show. I will say there are a couple of jump scares that don't really pay off. But then there's also a good bit of tension. And this just really gets a good balance between this tropical paradise with its bright, sunny, beautiful days and its dark, deep, terrifying nights. And then this kind of... There are killers on the loose and are they our neighbors? You know, are they these people that were hanging around all the time. Are we in danger? It builds up the atmosphere and also has you believing in the setting and has you enjoying this honeymoon along with them. It doesn't overstimulate you on either. You know, I mean, there's that thing of too much of a good thing, you know, if you're constantly doing something that's a lot of fun, sooner or later you're going to need to unwind. That doesn't really happen here. It it doesn't let you get tired of the really cool vacation stuff. Nor does it have too much chasing and too many scenes where you think something bad is going to happen. The characters are quite credible. The acting, pretty good. Timothy Oliphant steals the show. He's this really weird, like, ex-army special forces dude. And you just don't know if he's for real or not, you know? It's just... He's, he's got that kind of intensity bordering on, like, obsession and psychotic behavior, you know. Think, like, Bill Paxton in The Last Supper, you know. That kind of thing, but overall less psychotic, you know. But he can be threatening, and then at the same time he can sort of be friendly, you know. Not quite Bill Paxton, but, you know. I guess if you've watched other of my videos, you may already know, you may already have guessed, I watched this for Mila Jovovich. She's cute and hot as ever in this. 
and I would say she makes pretty good use of the range that she does have, you know. That's all I'm going to say about that. Marley Shelton is in this, and you can barely recognize her. I don't know what happened there, but I don't know. I hope she gets better. She did not look good in this. I... The editing and photography are quite good. We get some handheld camera when it's really intense, but otherwise, it, it lets us take in the beauty of the island. And also has that kind of edge to it, you know, it, you don't forget for terribly long, at least not when you're not meant to, that this is, you know, an island. There are cliffs, there's water, it is a dangerous place if you don't know what you're doing. It's also a little interesting to note that as Cliff is a screenwriter, they actually discuss several of the techniques that are used in this to keep the story going and to throw you off. At times, uh, don't remember his first name, but Twohi, if that's how you pronounce it, the director-writer, kind of almost challenges us to guess what is actually going on, what the twist is going to be. I haven't really watched anything else by him. The Arrival, and I think he wrote both of the first two Warlock movies, watched those, that's about it. This is better than The Arrival, at least to me. I liked it better. All in all, it kind of depends on how far you're willing to stretch your suspension of disbelief, but if you like twist movies, this is one of the better ones. Just partially by virtue of the fact that it's a genuinely good movie. It's put together well. I mean, if you ignore the last 10-15 minutes of it, maybe 20 minutes of it, it's just plain a good movie, you know. And with the twist in there, it depends on if you like the twist or not. But it's a pretty decent twist, and it doesn't completely throw you off, I would say. I, I wasn't disappointed. It keeps the movie keeps to a very good pace. I was never bored. It's 90 minutes long or so, and you're just constantly watching, you know? I wasn't really expecting to like this movie as much as I did. But as long as you accept that it's a new twist movie, you know, it's not psycho. It's not a classic. then you're pretty likely to enjoy it if you just go for, you know, a rental, watch it at least once, maybe twice. If you just have 90 minutes, you just really want to get into something that's not going to be too overly complicated, I would say go for this one. Anyway, that's my spoiler for review of A Perfect Getaway. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.